All right, Toby and Eugene, thanks for waiting. Hey guys, how you doing? Pretty good. Um, I just want to make it real quick for you guys. Um, what's your guys' position on the uproar for the um, the atheists taking down the cross in um, Ground Zero? Um, I'm getting a lot of slack from that. Uh, being an atheist, uh, saying that it's taking away their religious freedoms. Um, that if the 28th Amendment does pass, that they will, you know, atheists will wipe out, you know, all religious freedoms and persecute them and, you know, stuff like that. Um, what is your, I mean, do you guys support the um, taking down the cross or is it just something that, oh, well, I'll just leave it standing? So... I don't know that I, ha I I've, I've talked about uh, this particular, the Ground Zero Cross before. And by the way, it's worth noting that um, Edwin Kagan died uh, this past week. Oh. Um, and he was American atheist lawyer who was you know, heading this up um, and was a great advocate um, on many of the, the court cases. And, and American atheist tends to do pretty good. They have a good record they do. Uh, of picking the right battles. Um, I don't know for sure that this particular case is the right battle, but I'm not a lawyer, and I don't know enough about the specifics of the case to know whether or not it was a good idea to go after it. Um, but Edwin was very picky about what cases he was going to go forward with, and so it's possible that there are things about this uh, that make it a good case. I'm interested to see what actually happens with that uh, before I you know, start laying down the law about what my thoughts are on it. Yeah. And, and you mentioned the 28th Amendment? A proposed 28th Amendment, yes. Well, so there, yeah, see, there really isn't a proposed 28th Amendment. I could propose a 28th Amendment. I mean, there's not a proposed 28th Amendment until there's a bill in Congress. Yeah. So and, I, I don't and, know which one you're talking about. And looking everything up, um, you know, every, everything that comes up when we do searches for proposed 28th Amendment sends us to websites like Urban Legends and Snopes, um, where they, the, the claim is that there's a proposed constitutional amendment that uh, seeks to require laws apply equally to U.S. citizens and members of Congress. Um, and then there, apparently there's, um, you know, there's a lot of detail to go into. You could, you could uh, Google up that information yourself and read it. But, is uh, that the one you're talking about? So, yes, or, it is. Yeah. Um, well, again, uh, just uh, hit Google and look up proposed Twenty Eighth Amendment. You'll find a lot of information right now. But in terms of like this, some uh, in terms in terms of the thing being this pending, imminent form of legislation that appears to be uh, not true and maybe a bit of scaremongering on the part of some people. Um, well, a lot of this is coming from like the theists that I talk to oh, and sure. um, religious groups that I, ha I encounter. And those people have a. Those people have a very uh, well-funded and heavily invested network of right-wing media platforms that are in business to terrify them, you know, about the evil other that's out there. So, um, yeah, I would not be surprised if, if a lot of the media outlets that those people frequent are constantly hitting them with scare stories about, uh, you know, a proposed 28th Amendment along with, you know, uh, Bar Barack Obama's going to take everybody's guns and he's going to force you to gay marry an anchor baby and things like that. I mean, there's all kinds of crazy scaremongering that they do. So yeah, um, your best enemy against that sort of thing uh, are facts always. And so uh, yeah, like I said, visit uh, Snopes.com website and look up the proposed 28th Amendment and that kind of information and, and you'll get detailed information. About now if, you know, let's say the 28th Amendment, if it did become a bill and did not pass, what repercussions as an atheist community would be, would be, you know, become up on us? I mean, I have no idea. Kind of, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if there were any because the conditions that would exist if a 28th proposed amendment failed are the conditions under which we live now. So I don't really know that it's a pertinent question. So it wouldn't be like, you know, just a bunch of religious people coming in and just implementing their ideas upon everybody. Well, they're already trying to do that. You know, I mean, that's everyday politics in, politics well, in yeah, America. Well, yeah, but our secular laws kind of, 
you know, counteract that, right? Some, sometimes. I mean, there it is now, I think, uh, the law in Louisiana, for example, that uh, science textbooks now have to, you know, um, introduce creationist ideas in, in science classes, and that's a thing that's now being fought. So, yeah, I mean, there are communities in the country where, uh, you know, people are very, very simpatico to uh, fundamentalist theocratic ideas, and they get their little bills passed regardless of what the U.S. Constitution might say, and, so, and then you end up with court battles and what have you. So it's a constant fight. All right. Thank you, guys. You answered my question. Sure. Thank thanks. you. Take care, Toby. Thank you. So long. I answered it with a big fat I don't know. <laughs> well.